Welcome to Bell Pro. My name is Bob, and a very, very warm welcome to everyone. In one of our last chapters, we discussed frame geometry because we want to be able to understand some gravel bike characteristics that we might want to get when we go out shopping for a gravel bike. And I thought, well, let's just pick three or four things that people look for because otherwise it gets boring and there's so much to know. And frankly, there's a lot to know about bikes and engineers, bicycling engineers do make a good living at it. But today we're just gonna talk about a couple things about fork characteristic because I ignored forks on the gravel bike video purposefully so we could focus on them. Forks on a bicycle have a little bit more characteristic because of the steering axis of the head tube. Now, different bicycles will have different head tube angles and the specifications from your manufacturer often will tell you what they are. When you're looking for an entry level bike, you might want a more relaxed geometry. Now let me explain what I'm talking about. A very steep head angle, like a 74 perhaps, might be a bit radical for you or me uh, around, around the village. We might find a slightly more relaxed frame, maybe uh, a 70 or a 71 better, maybe. It depends on your style. Again, everything depends on your style. But we can, we can say head tube is the first thing we're going to look at. The next thing we're going to look at is um, a fork brake and the front axis. Now, when you look, if you drew an imaginary line all the way to the floor, which is a little tough, but it's easily done on a piece of paper. So we're going to do that imaginary line on a piece of paper here. Okay. When you have a lot of rake, you will have less trail. When you have shorter rake, you will have more trail. Now, more trail is more stable. Just think more trail, more stable, especially at high speeds. Now, if you like a squirrely, agile bike, you're gonna want you're gonna want to go the opposite way. See, so it. But we're looking at two bicycles here of totally different vintage. Now, this bicycle is approximately forty years old. The old Barrow. Uh, I dated it. It's about forty years old. And you can tell by the, uh, the style of the steel and everything. And I made a little sketch for us. So we talk about offset. I couldn't measure trail, uh, you know, to the floor, but I can measure offset more or less consistently wrong. At least it's close. So with this, I came up with 37 millimeters. On the Biachi, I have a very modern carbon fork, and I measured 37 millimeters, and they're both road bikes. Now, I don't know how accurate that number is, but it would be consistently wrong. <laughs> so, I compared it to my gravel bike. Now, I want you to notice, big difference, 47. Okay, that's huge. Okay, so the Milwaukee is a very stable bike, even though it only has a 72 degree head tube. So it has a racy head tube, but a stable fork. So there's all these things that work together. Now, when you're at your dealer, you're gonna to wanna to test drive the bike before you buy it to make sure you feel safe. If it feels too squirrely and you feel you're not riding correctly, that may not be the bike for you. 
And don't feel bad about that because there's lots of different kinds. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and focus on getting what feels comfortable, but don't be afraid to ask a lot of questions. I'll leave some links, a little bit of information. It gets heavy, you know. The main, the main thing to realize, relax, okay? And then uh, that'll be the easiest bike, and then we go from there. See you later. I've got to run. Oh, I have my blueberry smoothie, and we'll be talking about blueberries. Blueberries are coming in. Thanks for watching.